Breaking news, lovers. Marin is leaving country music, and I think she's in on dreams, and here's why. I did a video on why I think Marin is part of this collaborative project after she sang on the Eras tour with Taylor. So at the beginning of the Eras tour, I had said that I think that the collaborative project Dreams is possibly a side band and that I thought that Taylor might be introducing members of this band during the acoustic set when they would play one of Taylor's songs with her. So not like Ice Spice during the Midnight set or like Phoebe or Haim during the Red set. I'm talking about just the acoustic set. So Marin came out in Chicago on June 4th. Not my show. My show was the second. And I'm so happy because I got the lakes. But anyways, she played You All Over Me. This is Marin's post on Instagram. And I did a little more digging at that point and tried to connect Marin in this theory of mine. And I found this. Marin and Marcus Mumford, who also came out with Taylor in Vegas, recorded a song together called Honeycomb, in which Marcus wrote, for Daisy Jones and the Six. So I, at the time, I was kind of like, uh-huh, that's an odd link. Okay, Marin, Marcus in the, in the studio. So I did a little more digging and had said in that video that Marin was in the studio all summer with Jack. Well, who else was in the studio all summer, Electric Lady, with Jack? Taylor. This is from the same post, Summer in the City, and it has a bunch of Polaroids. Check it out on Instagram. So you cannot tell me that whether or not Marin was in the studio recording new music with Jack that she did not run into Taylor this summer. Mm. So here's today's news, and I think she took a page out of Taylor's book for this. And I think it's something she's been planning for a very long time. This is Marin's Insta post today, liked by Jack where she introduces two songs and two videos, The Tree and Get the Hell Out of Here. And she essentially is explaining why she's leaving country music in these two songs. Here's what caught my eye, though, is this quote. I thought I'd like to burn it to the ground and start over. Okay, who else is burning something to the ground on tour and starting over, essentially, with her re-records? And essentially holding up a big middle finger to someone that's done her wrong. Marin is releasing music on Columbia Records now instead of Columbia Nashville. Okay, so how does this totally fit into dreams? Let's go back a little ways on Marin's Instagram. Aren't you envious that for you it's not? To Karma by Taylor Swift last November. December 5th of 22. Dream weekend. How about you? Ten years ago, I packed up the U-Haul with a dream. This one's my favorite. She has orange nails here. You just can't see because I had to cut it off to show you guys the date. But 113, January 13th. Watch me fulfill a decade-long dream. I'm sorry. The way these people that I think are involved with the Dreams Project is what I'm calling it now are using the word dream is it no normal people just do not do that in all these posts like this it's definitely an egg february 6th reality dream dress we're gonna go full on delulu clown now um february 17th london calling i'm answering the phone thing and then uh <laughs> kentish town where joe alwyn's from if you guys want to know my whole Delulu theory behind this, please watch my playlist, Dreams, and my playlist under Nice Boy Ed. Here was her post um, that she made when she worked with Marcus. Dream. So whether Marin's a part of this or not, I don't know. Either way, I am so proud of her for doing what she believes in, and she's a badass. What do you guys think?